Hey there, so today we have another review. We're uh, taking another week and re revisiting the greatest beer of all time, uh, objective, objectively at least, so uh, award-wise. This is Fathead's Headhunter, so um, I've now had the six-pack for, I'm going to go say three weeks now. I reviewed one for you immediately. I reviewed one for you a week after that, and now we're... I guess two two weeks since I got the can. Uh, two weeks since I got the two ish weeks since I got this. So um, we're going on five six weeks now. So still very fresh. Um, I think they actually did a second drop. So hopefully I find some more because you know cool anyway. Um, looks the same. <laughs> well, obviously uh, it's what is a deep gold color. Yeah, sort of what a classic West Coast IPA looks like. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit darker, a little lighter. Even that. Um, more modern examples, I think, actually lighter than this. So, slightly off my head. Yeah, I mean, it smells great. <laughs> um, I actually really need to look up what hops are in here, but I suspect there's maybe mosaic. Um, but yeah, it has this kind of like um, it's 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 fun. It's got this like honeydew, sweet pear. Um, what do they call pear drops? There's some, some really good tasting notes actually in the um, craft beer uh, brewing magazine. I sort of skipped over. I mean, I I, I mentioned what the um, the uh, tasting notes were, but sun kissed orange candies. Yeah, that's a good one, right? Yeah, I can certainly see that. There's a, definitely some like sun kissed kind of like candied sweetness in here. Um, lemon drops, candied citrus peels, and drops of pear. Okay, that's what they call. It. Yeah, it's a very good description. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a combination of like. It's, it's it's actually, yeah, very candied sweetness on the nose, which is quite nice. But, um, that's in, in the most, like, complimentary way versus, like, I think some people think candy. They think, like, yeah, pastry sour or something like that. But, like, we're talking about in a hoppy way. Um, there's also this uh, little bit of, like, verdant character, a um, little bit of, like, soily character in here. A little bit of dankness. Cheers. And then, um, now on the palate. Get like um, <laughs> she's ratting out her sister. Um, yeah, it's an aggressively bitter beer, uh, really dry and lean, um, soily on the palate as well. So you sort of smell a little bit of that, but it has this base kind of like dankness. And then yeah, I mean again, I've, I'd be surprised if the mosaic was in here, but whatever combination pops, it comes off um, more candied, a little bit of candied citrus, and then it almost has like light blueberry flavor that it is uh, I rarely call, but um, I get candied. Candy, a candy blueberry flavor, yeah. Piney, long long bitterness, clean malt character, a little bit of light biscuit in the middle. Dry, 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 and full bitter too. Mm. Again, reminds me of like lunch, the Cumbria Elevated IPA, um, beers that like you know just <laughs> top top dogs that are just like hard to get. Um, if you like bitter and dry, then this is definitely, like, if you like your um, uh, West Coast IPA is extremely bitter and dry, this is really what sings. But not in a bad way, but, like, lean. And that beautiful, like, flavor translates. Like, on the nose, it's quite candied, but on the palate, it really is IPA. Like, I don't think anybody can drink this and tell me it's not IPA. Like, it's just, like, so ideally is IPA, uh, defines it so well. And then again, does that thing that the stone beers do, that kind of like hop character that almost comes off a little bit plasticky. And as you breathe, it's a little bit soily, but it also has this kind of like plasticky phenolic thing, which is really fun. Um, again, not an all flavor, just sometimes hops, hops express in all kinds of funky ways. So, uh, yeah. And that's the other thing it does. It does the heady, the heady topper thing, that saturation, hot flavor, like it echoes. Um, the analogy that I hear from um, uh, like wine experts is like, well, how do you determine quality of wine, price point of wine? It's, it, it's um, I think it, it, one of the best visual analogies I've ever heard is like sort of like a ripple effect of like when you drop a stone in water, something that's like cheap and simple will have like one or two rings, right? And then... Uh, when you when you go higher in price point quality, um, you get more tertiary flavors. You get more lingering flavors, flavors that last longer on the palate. And I think that's what, sort of what we look for in um, quality in beer as well, right? Like the the, the more complexity and um, lasting lingering flavors, um, the more complexity and lasting flavors is the goal. Um, you know, we 
I mean, I've, I've reviewed them. Like, there's these beers that are just, like, contract brewed, and they're just, like, very, like, short. Um, uh, they don't have a complexity on the palate. Like, they're very singular noted. And then, like, you know, the quality ingredients you sort of taste as well. But here, like, um, yeah, it has a lot of, uh, it's a ch- chameleon, right? It moves on the palate. I think it's one of the cool things that's, like, Hetty Topper does. It's so uh, it's unique in that sense. It's bitter, but also very complex beer. Yeah, see, it can be fruity because you smell it and you get it up front, but then actually it's still a very dry, bitter beer. So quite fun, quite fun. Um, I might have one more can to review for you guys. I want to say, yeah, the quality is still the same, right? Drink it fresh. It t- tastes just as good. It is very dry and bitter, though. So um, I'm curious, like, how people enjoy this one. Like, like if I had a six-pack, like, how far would I go? Because this is very dry and bitter. Wow. Okay. <laughs> very, very dry and bitter. So, again, good thing I'm, like, you know, ac- try to acclimate my palate to this. Because, again, even with, you know, a beginner would just never want to drink spirits. It's absolutely disgusting. It's so bitter. And even for me, it's still find it very bitter. So, um, go back to the 99. Yeah, this is it's still not stuff. It's, it's still very good. I don't, I don't know what to say. It's, like, insanely good beer. It's always fun to revisit really think about it more and more. That's how you develop, like, um, familiarity and a uh, vocabulary for beer. And then also just, like, a... Um, enjoyment of a beer if you had if it has such you know complexity to like revisit and sort of find more flavors and find um where it sits on your palate so cheers